Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video guys, we're going to be talking about whether or not dragon is actually worth it as a fruit. So dragon, for sometimes actually very very rare, it is still rare now. Uh, it actually took me like 6 billion uh, belly to actually get just one dragon fruit. So it's pretty hard to find a copy of this dragon fruit. It's pretty crazy hard to find a copy of it. So today we're actually going to be reviewing this dragon fruit. We're going to uh, take a look at what the dragon fruit ha or what the dragon fruit has to offer. Yeah? So damage wise, uh, usability, and yeah stuff like that so we're gonna find out how useful dragon is and whether or not it's actually worth it for how rare it is okay so yeah right now um we actually have a gameplay here of me using the dragon fruit and we're gonna be seeing how uh, good or how well made the dragon fruit is so yeah actually first complaint that i have about the dragon fruit is the dragon mode actually covers a huge part of your screen and um it's very hard to control the dragon as you guys can see here when i'm flying the, um, the tails of the dragon is like covering my screen and also one complaint that I have about the dragon fruit is that yes it does do decent damage but if you guys can see uh, most of its moves don't have a good range the only move that has good range with it is the blast breath and the um, tatsumaki or the blast spears and one thing that I also noticed about it is that you actually can't use your moves if you're not in dragon form so you have to be in dragon form to actually even use your moves and there's only one move in hydra uh hydra tra hybrid transformation sorry not hydra hybrid as you guys can see right here i'm gonna try it out with kaido i'm gonna be hitting kaido a couple of times and yeah we're gonna find out how easy it is to beat kaido with the dragon fruit now damage wise i think that kaido still does less damage than magma fruit or magma awakened at least Magma Awakened has more range, it's a Logia, it still does more damage, but um, Dragon Fruit does have its advantages over Magma Awakened. The first advantage that I see Dragon have over Magma Awakened is that you can fly with uh, Dragon, and you can fly with Magma. So PvP wise, um, you could actually just fly up and then just spam your moves with Dragon, and you can't do that with Magma. But damage wise, I think that Magma is still better than, um, Kai than Kaido. So that is one of the advantages of Magma Awaken, but Kaido, yeah, does have an advantage you could fly, and it also does decent damage. The only thing that I see uh, the problem with it is that you can't actually use your moves outside of outside of um, outside of Dragon Form or Hybrid Form. You can't use your moves, and you also do your moves do decent damage, but the range is pretty bad. Like you can see here, the only move that I'm actually using is Blast Breath. Because every other move won't reach Kaido. And if you actually go close to Kaido, he will definitely just one-shot you. So there's no point in using a, a fruit that's, uh, that doesn't have long range. If your fruit does, ha does have great damage, but you uh, it's, it's long range or short range, then I would say that that fruit is going to be definitely reduced by a lot. It's not going to be worth it because uh, range is definitely very important because you can't get too, too close to the boss, otherwise the boss will just kill you. As you guys can see here, I'm using Blast Breath over and over again to fight the boss. One thing I forgot to mention here is that my, my fruit stats are actually not that high. My fruit stats are actually 1950 or 1750. So my fruit stats are pretty low, not even in the 2000 range. The reason for this is because training your fruit stats is actually ridiculously hard in this game. So I found that find that training of stats in this game is actually just very ludicrous. So I, I don't have max fruit stats. I think I have. Uh, let me check. But that's 150 fruit stats. I have around that much fruit stats. Sorry for the background noise, guys. I'm gonna get a better mic today. But yeah, I don't have good fruit stats. I only have like 1,750 fruit stats. If I had more uh, stats in fruit, this definitely would have been a faster fight. But I do remember when I was grinding for Belly, I do remember using Magma Awakened and being able to kill Kaido in less time than I am doing right now. Because Ka I'm having such a hard time trying to kill Kaido in this clip because. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's pretty hard to kill. And as you guys can see right here, I actually just got slammed by Kaido. And yeah, 
Um, that's one of the things that I noticed when I use Magma Awaken because I did test Magma Awaken before I use Sky Up uh, Dragon Fruit. I tested Magma Awaken with the same food stats and then uh, tried to beat Kaido. I actually beat Kaido in a shorter time, and since Magma Awaken does have a long range move that does a lot of damage. Uh, it did help a lot. So I'm gonna speed this part up till the end now because there's really not that much to talk about. guys now let's talk about the final verdict on whether or not do, uh, whether or not i think dragons are worth it because dragon is actually rare so there's a good chance that you might not actually get dragon there's a good chance you might actually get something else because dragon is very very rare so if you're new to the game or you're in like the mid game session of um the game you're most likely not gonna have dragon fruit yet unless you're very very lucky because it actually took me like six billion belly to even just get one copy of dragon fruit so dragon fruit is very 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 rare it is extremely rare i would say it's one of the rarest fruits uh in the game so yeah it's actually pretty rare and for some time the chance for dragon was actually increased so i don't know if the chance for dragon right now is back to being 0.1 but for some time it was one percent but now I think it's back to being 0.1, so I don't know how rare Dragon is right now. But I think Dragon is back to being 0.1 again, so Dragon is incredibly rare. You could go and spend like 50 million belly and, 50 billion belly and still not get it. So, do I think Dragon is worth it? I would definitely say Dragon is worth it. Now Dragon, you can fly with Dragon, so you can fly and you have good moves. You have two modes, so Hybrid Transformation is actually a good mode as well. But Hybrid Transformation only has one move which, which is Hybrid War and it's actually useless, pretty much useless when you're fighting people like Kaido because Kaido does a lot of damage and he will pretty much just one-shot you if you get close to him as you guys can see right here. So yeah, um, Dragon, for, Dragon Fruit is actually a very very good fruit but I think there are other fruits that are better than Dragon. So, do I think you should spend like 50 billion, 100 billion belly for it? Uh, no. I don't think you should spend that much belly for dragon fruit because while it is good, there are fruits that are better than it. Like for example, Magma Awakens is probably better than it. Some other fruits like for example, um, yeah, Magma Awakens is better than it. String Awakens is probably even better than it as well. So yeah, that's my verdict for dragon fruit. It is worth it but it's definitely not um, losing your life or worth it for. So if you find that it's super hard to get, just not give up and don't get it because while it is good, it's not that, that, that good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out guys. See you guys in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe.